rice. It's a global culinary staple. It transcends borders as a versatile ingredient in many cuisines, from Greek to Italian, Spanish to British, especially those British rice puddings. It's a cherished place on menus worldwide. But as we stand in our kitchens, whether we're chefs or home cooks, the never-ending question emerges. Should we rinse our rice? Should we Should we be washing our rice before we cook it? It's a culinary enigma. So let's take a quick look at this. As you rinse rice, there's an enchanting transformation that unfolds before your eyes. The once opaque water becomes cloudy. It's a dance of tiny starch particles released from the rice grains. And as you run your fingers through the grains, and as they tumble in the water, you'll feel the subtle surrender of the surface starch. It's a tactile communion with the essence of rice. You could listen to the cascade of the gentle water, the soothing melody that accompanies this delicate ritual it may put you in a Zen place while you're just standing in your kitchen. The climax of the symphony, though, arrives on your palate. When you taste the tender grains that glide effortlessly, revealing their inner creaminess, You can savor the hearty, unadulterated texture of unrinsed rice. So, as the rice undergoes its baptism in water, there's also a faint, earthy aroma that wafts through the kitchen. It's kind of like a tantalizing preview of the meal to come. So, when you ask culinary experts, should you rinse your rice? Is it an unnecessary ritual? The answer really depends. And it depends on what you're looking to build or cook. If your culinary masterpiece requires distinct separate grains, washing your rice might be something you need to do. It's a prerequisite for dishes that celebrate the solitary rice grain. In recipes like risottos, paellas, or rice puddings, just let the rice be. The grains naturally starch together. They bind. The starch binds them together. It creates a creamy, unified composition. And there's no need to wash away this harmony. Now, beyond the kitchen, there's factors that influence this culinary ballet. Let it be the rice variety, ancestral traditions, regional health advice, or perceived effort. They all shape this cultural mosaic. They really do. What does science say about this age-old practice, though? Recent research scrutinized glutinous, medium grain, and jasmine rice. Wash three to ten times. Contrary to conventional wisdom, washing didn't affect their stickiness. Instead, stickiness depended on a deeper starch called amyloptocin, which cooked rice released. Glutinous rice led in stickiness, while medium grain and jasmine rice remained less adhesive but firmer. Traditionally, rice washing served as a safeguard. It was there to protect against dust, insects, and husk remnants. In today's world, microplastics infiltrate all of our meals, including rice. So washing your rice could remove up to 20% of these microplastics from uncooked rice. Pre-cooked instant rice carries four times more microplastics than its raw counterparts. Yet, washing the rice is not without trade-offs. It sweeps away essential nutrients like copper, iron, zinc, and, and more. And these are all vital for your health, especially for populations with rice-heavy diets. Intriguingly, pre-washing, it can reduce these heavy metals like lead, cadmium, and arsenic. It can reduce them between 7 and 20%. The World Health Organization warns of arsenic exposure through water and food. Rice arsenic levels vary, but one rule remains constant. Always rinse your rice and diversify your grains. Arsenic isn't confined to just rice. It lurks in many foods, including rice-based products, seaweed, seafood, and vegetables. On the microbial front, rice washing has no effect. Cooking at high temperatures annihilates all bacteria. However, Bacillus cereus, a resilient foe, It can cause gastrointestinal distress if cooked or wet rice lingers at room temperature. So don't leave your rice out. 
you don't want the bad bacteria in your belly. It's been a whirlwind exploration together today. And as we think about this, rice emerges as a multifaceted culinary treasure. Tradition, science, and health considerations converge in our kitchens, where each decision contributes to the gastro symphony that we create. So whether you rinse or you don't rinse, just let the magic of rice continue to inspire your culinary adventures. These are interesting things with JC.